Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. Let's jump right in here and see what's going on with you today, Aquarius. All right, this is a general reading, so it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And um, I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. We'll start out here with some opening oracle messages first for you, and then we'll get to the tarot. your first message is bet on yourself take chances reach your dreams you've got this all right we have listen to your body and do what it is asking of you And we have do your thoughts need a reboot focus on the good in your life okay so it looks like you're that that's exactly what you're doing um, you're taking a chance on you trusting yourself guiding yourself and only yourself okay and focusing on you know some clutter just getting rid of some things here having some awareness and clarity um, and realizing what you do have in life being grateful for what you have right and not focusing on things that are you know that bring you down too much here knowing exactly you know that you have goals and dreams you're trying to you know achieve and get to and basically just doing what you know you need like what is meant for you here in your life and trusting yourself Aquarius so it looks like here right away that you know there is someone here I don't know if you have like really bad friends or groups or that you know you don't trust anymore or there's just someone here that's trying to involve you in you know a third party or something or they're you know they're already involved with someone whoever they're if they're with you know in a marriage or relationship with someone but right away it starts out with someone here just not wanting to work or do anything or plan or create make money or be independent or maybe try to find a way to take money from you um, somehow they're getting ir irritated. They're very impatient. They're not wanting to work on themselves. They don't want to, you know, change or, you know, resolve any conflict that may be going on. And they're going backwards, you know, and losing a lot of things here, losing time, money, space, energy. Um, they're disorganized. They're all over the place. They feel scared and trapped and stuck and restricted. And this is where they either choose to just go back to drinking, smoking, you know, their addictions or, you know, unfortunately cheating on who they're with or being a really bad friend or gossiping or, you know what I mean? There's something here where someone here is not really happy at all. They're feeling too celebrated or anything here. All right. And it looks like, you know, this is someone that maybe needs to move on, you know, get over things or get over you or, you know, there's something here about this. Um, they're too, there's something that they're, you know, there's some pain that they're harboring about something that they know about that they're not wanting to like deal with at all. Okay. And that's where you just kind of, you know, end up just focusing on your own, you know, your job, your career path, you know, staying busy, you know, and showing up and doing what it is that you need to do, working well with others, collaborating with others possibly as well here. Yeah, and that's where there's a lot of, you know, positive changes and cycles happening here for you because of that. You know, what you're you're basically um, you know, doing things that you know you're meant to be doing and spending time with those that you know are meant for you in a sense here. And that's what's helping you to create some boundaries for yourself and keep some distance and respect yourself and put some walls up if you need to, you know, towards other people and places and whatever's going on. 
It looks like because you're doing that, that's what's making someone here not want to move on and get over it or you or the situation and drop it, change their ways, change themselves for the better um, and basically want to argue, fight, compete, get aggressive while they're also fighting themselves. And so that's where you end up just kind of removing yourself completely from the situation or from the person and walking away completely um, and focusing on yourself. And that's when they want to get obsessive about like spying, lurking, creeping, stalking, trying to get information in a manipulative way, um, you know, something here in a toxic, aggressive way, maybe saying something negative here, possibly. Yeah, and that's where, you know, um, you end up maybe communicating this to them or talking to them or just having that clarity and awareness of knowing exactly what to do or what to say. Um, and that's what's helping you stay alert in a sense and active and know what to do and to just move forward and take action, take accountability, responsibility, what you're doing, staying busy, focused. You know, for a lot of you here, it's just you knowing exactly what to do in your position, in your career path, um, creating something new for yourself you know, um, making those necessary changes for wh of whatever it is that you need to do here for yourself and change. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see here what the closing out messages, you know, are here for you. And it looks like here too, that you know, whoever this is, like it does make them more like greedy. Um, manipulative, irritated, frustrated, not truly happy in who they're, you know, whatever marriage or relationship that they're in and or whatever they're doing for work, money, you know, career path. There's a lot of aggression and anger, um, a sense of kind of doing things in a corrupt way, um, wanting control just because you are a lot more calmer and have a lot more awareness in the situation. All right. Your first message is take responsibility for your choices. This is your life to live, own it. And we have stop caring about what they think. This is your life to live or to love and live. And that's exactly what you're doing here. Like I said, you're taking accountability and responsibility of what you need to do, getting things done here for yourself and moving forward here and not caring about the opinions of others. All right, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, bye.